Absolutely cracking boat. This, uh, she's called Second Chance. She's a 30-foot Aintree Beetle built in 2019. She's got a huge amount of space for a little boat and she's actually a liveaboard at the moment and really comfortable and cosy she is too. She was last blacked in May this year with epoxy two-pack. She was sandblasted and two-packed at launch but done again this year. The engine was serviced in September 23 but will be done again at sale. That pram hood was new in 2022 as was the roof box. 700 watts of solar panels on the roof with a new MPPT controller. There's a bike rack on the rear deck outside the pram hood here. That's a twin tub washing machine back left hand corner of the rear deck. Really good condition the pram hood of course but it's virtually new. Gas bottle is top of the left of the screen. There's a hole in the floor there and here's the engine. It's a beta 25 only 300 hours on that. Squeaky clean in here. The batteries are in here. There are 325 amp hour AGM domestics and one starter. There is a Victron battery monitor. And then we go, she's fitted out in uh, white painted panelling with oak trim. The floor is wood effect cushioned vinyl. So the first room is a little saloon area really. There's cupboards under the gunnels on the port side here. They're an addition by the new owner. Quite nicely done actually. With the television on the wall, that's an 18 inch 230 volt a bush. Good size cupboard in here. And on the other side as well. That's the inverter. It's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. And here's all the very neatly arranged electrics with a stereo as well. It's a Sony Bluetooth CD radio. Storage in the steps. Absolutely love this boat. This is a couch. It does actually pull out and recline to a degree. So that's super cosy and comfy. Storage underneath that with these cupboards with drop down doors. And Next is the galley. The saloon, by the way, is nine foot four and the galley six feet. The stone worktops. Bank of drawers on the starboard side here. And on the other side, there's a cupboard under here. We like the spices. And an oven over here. The cooking is a Thetford duplex oven and grill and a Thetford two burner gas hob, which is there. Under here is the sink. And the tap's quite funky. That pulls out and I don't know what you call them, stretchy tap. Lovely work surfaces, this stone. Shells over there. Another cupboard under here, which has the fridge. It's a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. So it's all in the kitchen, really, everything you need. The windows are all double glazed, by the way. They are mirror tinted, so from the outside there's privacy. And the bathroom's a sort of wet room arrangement. There's a ceramic sink in the corner there. Shower with thermostatic mixer tap, and that's an electric composting loo. Compost is the brand. And the forward cabin, there's a fixed double. That's six feet long, three foot six wide. Storage under, plenty of. There's a little drop down table under the gunnel here. There are a couple of stools on board as well, so that could fashion as a dining table if you weren't on the couch in the saloon. And the stove in the corner is a salamander four kilowatt stove. And there's a really good size wardrobe here with a shelf over. Storage under this step. Somebody said to me, I don't know if it's right or wrong, there's a three year waiting list for these uh, Aintree Beetles. And the well deck's got a good cratch cover over it, a couple of storage lockers either side. The water tank's under here, it's stainless steel, 325 litre. There is a water fil um, filter on the galley tap. All the lighting is LED, including under gunnel dimmable lighting on the starboard side. Head height on the boat is six foot eight, it's massive. There's a galvanic isolator, there are USB points on board. There was a survey conducted on the boat in July 2021, that's available for viewing. Central heating is an Eberspacher Airtronic D-Flow air-blown central heating system and hot water is heated by the engine 
or an immersion heater. Loads of navigation equipment on board including an anchor and a gangplank. And there we have it. Really lovely cosy boat, perfect for liverboard. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.